It's day 81. Let's find out if all the people following you on social media are bots or not. We've all seen that brilliant login page where we go to log in and a box pops up going, are you a robot? And there's a little tick box. Well, we're gonna make one more difficult than that. What I'd like you to do is build a page that has multiple questions on it that ask things that a robot might say yes to. Things like, are you made of parts? Are do you have an electricity supply? Are you a metal construct with an artificial intelligence running your body? Ask at least three different questions like that. And once they've submitted it, I want you to check to make sure that they haven't picked the sarcastic answer. Now, importantly, what I want you to do here is I want you to have one question, which is a yes or no answer and uses a radio button to make sure that you can only pick yes or no. I'd like another question, which is a free type text box, which you'll have to deal with with dot lower. And I'd like a third question, which is a multiple choice drop down menu. You can, of course, use silly GIFs or silly page designs in your you're a robot pages and your you're not a robot pages, but that's up to you. You can get support in all the usual places on our Discord on the 100 Days of Code section, ask.replit.com in our 100 Days of Code pages there, and Go live with me every other Wednesday with Replit 101 Code Helpline, where I can answer your questions live on YouTube. You don't need to come online. You don't need to come on camera. You don't need to talk. You can just paste your questions into the chat and I'll get to helping you. Don't forget to publish it in the community when you're done and share it with the hashtag Replit 100 Days of Code. Now, we've done post. We've done wrapping up a form and sending the data, but there are other ways to communicate with your web server as well. One of these is get, putting variables in your address bar.